here we go, the film that kicked off one of the highest grossing franchises of all time, changed the filmmaking landscape as we know it, and turned Robert Downey Jr. from high risk to highly bankable. Yes, as this title reveals, this is my review of Iron Man. Iron Man came out in 2008. It was directed by Jon Favreau, stars Robert Downey Jr., Gwyneth Paltrow, Jeff Bridges, and Terrence Howard. Now, first things first, this movie has some of the best pacing ever. It just had such a great flow from scene to scene to scene. Not once did I feel the need to check my watch or pause the movie just to see how long it had left. The effects were created by Stan Winston, whose studio created the look of Terminator, Gremlins, Predator, and countless other iconic film creatures and characters. And it absolutely showed in this movie, crafting this sleek, hyper-realized suit from Iron Man that really places the film in the real world. The acting in this movie shows exactly exactly why you cast grade A talent, as some of the dialogue in the film could come across as quite cheesy if it wasn't for the fact that they hired such high caliber actors. Jeff Bridges, although a forgettable villain, is so deliciously evil in the role as Obadiah Stane and he really chews the scenery like there's no tomorrow. The addition of a lot of the soundtrack being ACDC captured the tone of the film as well, but I felt as though the score was just really forgettable and that will be a complaint that you'll hear from me through pretty much every MCU movie with just a few minor exceptions. The film also has great control tightly weaving its themes together. It doesn't dive too deep into its subject matter, but it does go slightly beyond a superficial layer. The focus on character as opposed to message is fantastic as it really doesn't bang you over the head over its themes of anti-war, uh, undeserved PTSD subplots or elements of not trusting your government this close to the starting line. Except it paves the way for those themes to be touched on in future films of the series. The chemistry between Robert Downey Jr. and Gwyneth Paltrow is great, but I feel as though a lot of the praise for the film should go to Jon Favreau, who created such a fantastic balance between humour and drama, with a lot of small character moments peppered in, because <laughs> of Pepper Potts, um, amongst great action set pieces. The biggest flaw for the film would have to be the third act. It does feel quite silly, and it does also feel really rushed, but all in all, it's a great kickstarter for this amazing franchise. Thor Ragnarok comes out on November 3rd, and I'll be reviewing all 16 MCU movies to date, so please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share this video. And of course, if you like this video and want to see more, please click here to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.